Alright, so what is up you guys? My name is Devin and today we're going to be looking at a weapon in Black Ops 3 called the Dingo. No, not that type of Dingo. Still not the right picture. Oh god, get that the hell off the screen, please. There we go. Now I could just start throwing a bunch of numbers and stats at you, but let's just be honest for a minute. Do you really care about the stats? I mean, come on, the stats are just numbers. Instead, let's just jump right into the pros and cons about this weapon. Firstly, the weapon itself has a pretty decent fire rate, a coupled along with decent damage and moderately low recoil for its category, which was actually buffed in the last patch. And the iron sights, though, you know, some people will like them, some will hate them, they're usable. I mean, they're very clear and you can easily track targets with these iron sights, which thank God, because the Gorgon's iron sights <laughs> there, there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> or abysmal, and they cover up pretty much half of the parental vision of the gun. Now, the gun does have some drawbacks. I mean, it has slow handling, like you would expect from most LMGs, and it can't two shot like the Gorgon, aka the I suck at the game gun. But what the weapon does succeed in is that this is the aggressive LMG. This is the LMG that you can get right up into people's faces with and get into the thick of it. Because though it might not be able to long shot people across the map, with its decent fire rate and decent damage and low recoil, you can easily dump truck people at close range. So I like to say that this is kind of like the bridge between assault rifle and LMG. So the class setup, which I'm going to put up on the screen right now, will actually kind of bring out these great features of the dingo and allow you to get really aggressive and right in people's faces like I do when I use this gun. Now as you can see for the attachments, I use no optics, stock, fast mags, and quick draw. The reason why I use this is that I think that the optics are good enough to be used and you're not going to be using this at long range anyways because that's not what this gun's role is. So I think that iron sights are fine for this and that's just one extra point that we can use towards something else. And then we have stock because LMGs are the slowest handling guns in the game. So stock helps you be able to strafe and move around a little bit faster, which when you're trying to get aggressive, that is a must. And then you have fast mags because as you know from LMGs, the reload is abysmal. So if you're going to get aggressive, you're going to need to at least shave, you know, half a second, a second. I don't know how much it shaves off, but it does at least shave off a little bit off the reload and that's always good for when you're going close range and trying to get right into people's faces. And then of course quick draw because LMGs are the slowest ADS time in the game. So quick draw will cut that in half or whatever the percentage is and that will once again allow you to be able to get right up in people's faces because you do not want to hit fire this gun because your bullets will be going everywhere. It's not made for hit fire so that's my recommendations for the attachments. Now your choice of lethal and tactical is all up to your preference, but where I do want to focus on is the perks. Firstly, we have fast hands. What fast hands allows you to do is bring your gun up faster after sprinting, which once again, because of this being an LMG, it has slow handling, so you really want to be able to get this gun up, especially since you will be getting into people's faces with this setup and this gun. And then of course, flak and tack, because you want to get aggressive, and you can't get aggressive if people are throwing concussion grenades and, and other grenades at you. So I do recommend flak so that you can take grenades and definitely tack mass so you don't get slowed down by those ungodly concussions. Like, can I just go on a rant for a second and say that those concussions are just a little OP? I mean, for God's sakes, you are, f like, unable to move for, like, five seconds. I don't know. I'm not going to rant about that. I'll do that in another video. And, yeah, that's really all I have to say about the Dingo. I mean, my thoughts on the gun... It's not great, it's nothing that's going to win any competitive MLG contests, but it's a decent gun, and for the LMG class, I do think that it is one of the top tier LMGs, just because you can get aggressive unlike some of the other ones in the category. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the like button down below, I'd gladly appreciate it. Also subscribe if you're not a scrub, and until next time guys.